Hello, it's Brooke Sydney here, your favorite mindset and manifestation coach. And today we are going to talk all about leaving the past or getting out of the past so that we can manifest in the now. But before I get into it, I want to remind you that there are two ways for you to work with me. One is one-on-one -on -one coaching. The other is email coaching. Both of that information is listed below, as well as I have two groups um, of like-minded individuals who are also on this manifestation journey. That information is also listed below. So today I really have this big download about some of the things that are holding many of us back in manifesting the things that we want. And I find this very, very um, common in the field of relationships when most of us are trying to manifest an SP or you know, also even get new love. I think that's what's happening so often is that we are getting stuck in this 3D. We're getting stuck in the reality. And as we all know, the quote unquote 3D reality is the past. It's the past that we're seeing right now. And then we are taking it even one step further and we continue focusing on like past memories, past experiences, things that literally happened like a month, a year ago, or years ago even in other relationships. We are still stuck and ruminating on this past. And so I've talked a lot about the fact that we need to change our story and I'll tag that video. We really need to stop thinking about the past so much when we want to manifest something new. And it doesn't matter if we want to manifest a new relationship, a revised relationship, or create a better relationship with an ex, or if we want to manifest money or better health or whatever. As long as we are dwelling on the problem or dwelling on the past, it means we're not actually creating in the future. We are still... Honestly, we're still focusing on the things that went wrong. We're still focusing on the manifestations that we didn't want to create. When we stay stuck in the past, when we stay um, stuck in like, for example, let's just take relationships. I have so many people that are coming to me and they're talking about they want to manifest their SP back, but they're still hung up on the story that they didn't treat them the right, that they're a narcissist, that you know, they came home and found them in bed with someone or they caught them cheating, they caught them lying, they, they're they in this, right? And all you're doing is re, you're actually recreating that relationship. You're recreating that story. You're revisiting and recreating the version of you that was in that place. And you are making it a persistent or a dominant assumption the longer that you stay stuck there. So when you stay stuck in the past, you're actually... Honestly, you're creating more of it, right? Because you haven't shifted into a new gear. You haven't created a new version of you. You haven't decided that you really want something else, that you really want something new. We've all done it. In fact, that's what actually got me to this message today is because I've been realizing it that that's what we do. It's part of our human condition. It's really hard for us to think forward. We usually think backward. Even Hollywood is the same way. It's so much easier for, and I know this as an entertainment attorney, it's so much easier to pitch scripts or talk about a sequel or a prequel to something that's already happened in the past, right? You know what it is, good or bad, and you can make something from it. It's so much more challenging to pitch and get something written or bought and sold that is something really new. And so I know it's a part of our way our mind works. We've already got the established ways of thinking, the established ways of doing. But when we want to manifest now, we want to manifest quickly, and we want to manifest something new, we have to become someone new. We have to become a new version of ourselves. We have to start thinking a new way. We can't as they say, put new wine in old wineskins. We have to become someone new. We have to renew our minds. We have to create a new story about ourselves. We have to create new dominant ways of thinking and being. That's where all of the techniques come in to assist us in creating that new person, creating that new reality, and creating that new way of thinking, being, and feeling. Because when we get into that state, when that state becomes our normal, then that's when it manifests. 
So my advice for you is when you find yourself dwelling in the past and getting stuck in the past, start asking yourself, what do I want different? What in my life do I want to change? After you get that answer, then start asking yourself, what about me needs to change? What or who do I need to become to have the thing that I desire? We all know whether you want to believe in culture or in law of assumption that we determine our relationships, right? We even determine, even if you want to think about popular culture, we allow treatment that allow that then teaches people how to treat us, okay? So whatever you allow, you're teaching someone how to treat you. In law of assumption world, whatever you believe about yourself and however you treat yourself is how someone is going to treat you because everyone is you pushed out. So really the work always, always starts with you. It really does. And so the sooner that we can get out of the past, and start creating in the present, we can manifest in the present, we can manifest in the now. So my wish, my hope, my desire for you all that are listening to this message today is that when you find yourself starting to stay stuck in the past, that you wake yourself up, that you pull yourself out of it, that you say that past was good for that person, that old me, but I, this current me, I'm going to create something new. I'm going to take whatever it was I didn't like and didn't want to manifest and don't desire now. And I'm going to create something new, perhaps even the opposite of it. I'm going to flip it on its head. And then you go about doing that work and you persist until it appears because your 3D reality, especially when you're not stuck in it, or stuck in the past has no choice but to conform. So as long as you develop a new state of consciousness, a new state of being, a new thought process and a new self, check out the alter ego video. It's really helpful and it makes it even more fun. You will have what you desire, but friends get out of the past so that you can manifest fast right now. It's my hope that this video was helpful for you. Let me know how it resonates with you. Make sure you're subscribed to this video or subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you tomorrow.